everyone and welcome to our weekly blood truth reading. So for those of you who haven't seen one of my blood truth readings before, this could be any message. It's basically the message we need to hear most. That's why it's for blood truth because I don't sugarcoat it and um, we just see what spirit has to say and um, yeah, see what the cards say. So I'm going to use a couple of different decks today. I was looking at all the decks I've got and I was really drawn to daily guidance from your angels healing with the angels, shamanic healing. I've only just noticed the theme um, and I'm going to use my modern witch tarot deck. So I take it there's going to be some healing involved in today's reading because I've been drawn to those decks. But yeah, we're just going to see what it is that comes through. So um, are you guys ready? Let's begin. So we're going to start with a healing with the Angels Oracle deck. So let's see what it is we need to hear today. Oh, lots of cards jumping all over the place. We've got Miracles. So when the Miracles card comes out, it's really reminding us that we need to believe in miracles if we want them to happen. Miracles happen around us every day yet sometimes we don't think they're going to happen for us and today spirit is saying you know you need to start believing that you are worthy of miracles you need to start believing that they are going to happen for you um because maybe the more you notice them the more you believe in them you're going to attract them so there's clearly something here which i feel like you desire which perhaps you're struggling to think whether it's going to happen. It just seems like you've kind of lost a little bit of confidence. Um, so let's see a little bit more about this miracle. We've got number 10, the burden card in the shamanic healing deck. So yeah, it feels like all this stress has kind of got on top of you and you're feeling perhaps a little bit burdened by a situation right now. And spirit is guiding you, honor your energy. Um, to be honest, guys, I'm really getting the message that someone around you could be burdening you and you need to establish some boundaries here to kind of like um, respect yourself and like protect your energy. That honoring your energy card really is just um, reminding me that there could be someone who is like putting stress on you right now. Um... And you need to find ways just to have some healthy boundaries here. And the honoring your energy card is also reminding you just to go with the cycles. So if you are feeling like you're having a little bit of a down day, then that's okay. Um, don't feel like you've got to be go, go, go all the time because that could be causing you more stress. So go easy on yourself. Don't be a really harsh critic for yourself right now. So let's see what the tarot says. And then I will use the daily guidance from your angels cards as well. But let's see, what is the situation here about spirit? Let's get some more insight. We have the king of pentacles. So you could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be an earth sign yourself. Now the king of pentacles... He's focusing a lot on his money. He's looking at his material possessions. Um... He's kind of like forgetting to nurture the garden around him. So this could represent someone here who is losing focus um, of like the bigger picture. Someone who is so focused on career or money that they aren't able to, you know, see their environment clearly. Or this just really feels like things are getting a bit messy with this King of Pentacles. Someone who perhaps is, you know, quite used to like taking care of themselves and taking care of other things. It feels like they're not doing this right now. So let's see what's this King of Pentacles about? What's the energy with them? We've got the Fool. So this King of Pentacles could be trying to start over with something. This could be like a new business or um, an idea here that they want to like start afresh with. But the Fool energy is about taking a risk. So the King of Pentacles here may be desiring to take a risk and that's where the miracle comes in because Spirit is saying those chances that you take really are going to pay off. So you could be the King of Pentacles or the King of Pentacles could be someone who's connecting to you 
who is going to be taking this chance. Now, this full energy, I really do feel a very big, fresh start, new beginning, which is coming towards you. Um, this could be someone who's taking a bit of a leap of faith towards you. But with that fool, it's almost like someone here is just going for it. Someone's got that get up and go. Um, maybe this King of Pentacles is realizing they don't want to be in this place anymore. They don't want to be in this garden. So maybe they're choosing not to nurture this space because they don't resonate with that space anymore. So let's go into a little bit more detail here. We've got the Queen of Swords. It's as if there's someone here who you are back to back with. Um... Or maybe you're trying to move away from one place and move towards another. But I just really feel this kind of like turning your back on something um, because you don't want it anymore, because you don't think it's going to be good for you. I see that you are looking elsewhere for more fulfillment, for better offers. So perhaps you have received an offer which you just don't think is going to be the one. You're thinking, no, there's something much bigger out there. Um... To be honest, there's a bit of a disappointment here as if someone was expecting or hoping for more. So maybe you are feeling a little bit dissatisfied right now. Perhaps you aren't happy with where you are or what you are working on. And that's okay. There is going to be a change. Start believing in those miracles. Notice the miracles around you. That's something that the fool is very good at. The fool notices the magic in the world around them. And that's why they have this blind faith in the universe. Because they just trust that miracles surround them. Miracles are endless. So they know that a miracle is going to happen for them. So maybe today's message is about getting in the mindset of the fool. Being in that beginner's mindset. Looking at things through the perspective of like, everything is okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. We've got the three of wands here asking you to expand your horizons, to, to look ahead, to plan ahead, to think about where you want to expand and what you want to move towards. With the three of wands, you've made a decision and you're ready to grow with it. You're ready to like act on the decision that you've made. So perhaps the decision right now is what you don't want. Maybe you're choosing, okay, I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to do this. Or like, this isn't resonating with me. And you're now trying to find logical ways to get out of this situation or to overcome it. Here's the emerging card. So this is you really coming into your own. And as you emerge, as you let yourself kind of like really shine, as you start to connect with um, yourself and like know what it is that is true to you, you are going to feel so much more confident as you, um, as you take a chance, as you put yourself out there in, in new positions. We have movement into balance. So things have definitely been out of balance lately. The movement into balance card is number one. And it feels like slowly and steadily you have been finding your feet. But it's been a gradual process. Um, I still see two people involved here. I still feel like we are talking about a connection between you and another person. Um... Or there's just like a situation here which involves two people. So I hope that makes sense. And it, it seems like you are kind of over this situation. You don't want to be in that environment anymore. You are focusing more on like creating a place of harmony and peace for yourself. You know what you want to feel abundant. So maybe right now you are just in like a different position. And I get the very strong sense that you are trying to manifest. You are trying to um, think about, you know, the full, think about your new beginnings, what you want to move towards. You're choosing to distance yourself from environments and connections, which you just feel is like making you get kind of burdened or like weighed down. Yeah, we've got the change in direction. 
So I'm definitely feeling that today. So the changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcome you desire. Um, so you're definitely ready for this new beginning. That's what the fool is all about is this willingness to open your heart this willingness to like take chances and be a bit of a risk taker um so let's see you know what's the truth today seven of swords you've got to leave some shit behind you do you've got to leave some things behind you in order to move forwards because i feel like something is conflicting right now um not everyone is meant to be in every chapter of our lives. And this doesn't mean you're leaving this behind permanently. You may choose to come back here in the future. It may reappear in front of you. But with that Seven of Swords, you're having to let go of something. You're having to like leave something as it is in order to move forwards because the changes that you desire, you know that not everyone can kind of keep up with that. You know, not everyone is going to be supportive of your journey to success, to empowerment. And I see very clearly that with this Hierophant, you are here ready to open new doors. You have maybe changed your beliefs. I feel with this Hierophant, like, you are a new person. You have changed so much. Um... You now know what it is that you desire. You feel more stable. You feel like, yeah, your beliefs have changed. You know, you're just like this whole different person. And by still connecting with people who maybe you don't share the same kind of values with, you could be finding that quite stressful. So that Hierophant is asking you, what are you going to commit to? What is it that you want to take a chance on? Because the change is here. You're ready to like, um, move forwards. I'm getting like you're walking across hot coals. So you really have grown spiritually and you're ready to like expand and move to this next level to dip your toe in new waters, find new adventures and new journeys. Yep, four of wands. And you know that you are ready for this. You know that you are ready to build. Um, and with this four of wands, to be honest, guys, I feel a lot of you are going to be finding new companions, new friends, new partners, whatever it is. You, that four of wands is telling me that the right people are going to come into your life. It's a card of community. So the right communities are going to be, um, you know, formed here in your life. And with that hierophant, you could find yourself in a position where you are kind of like the center of attention or you do have to lead in some way so guys i'm going to go into the extended we're going to keep going we're going to just see what else comes through so if you guys are resonating with this reading so far then do check out the extended on my patreon site sacredspace.co.uk um, and we'll just see what other truthful messages spirit has for us today so i'm going to do a new spread over there so sending you lots of love i'll see you over there for the rest of the reading and um don't forget to like this video if it resonated with you self yeah, we've got the Ten of Swords. So, um, you're really worried about this. That Ten of For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. Click on the Spirit section at the top of the page and find the video that you want to purchase. You can also filter by category and choose Extended. Click purchase to buy this individual video or sign up to the Evolved tier for full access to the Sacred Space site.